Hey, hey, welcome back to Urban Outdoors. I'm Urban, and hey, I'm glad you're here. Recently, I've had quite a few people ask and inquire about my health, um, how things are going with the cancer. I had mentioned a while back that I was going to be going to uh, Medical University of South Carolina in Charleston for uh, my quarterly MRIs, CAT scans, blood work, oncologist visit, and all that stuff. So I just wanted to report that we had that done last week. And uh, after the doctor reviewed all the MRIs and CAT scans, he was able to determine that the cancer that I have in my body has not spread so it has not metastasized to any other parts of the body. Of course, I still have some cancer my neck, in my neck area. I have some under my arm, on my spine, on my pelvis, and in my liver. But we knew that uh, back in 2016. The good news is that since then, it hasn't metastasized further and it hasn't grown any. I'm supposed to be taking chemotherapy and I have been supposed to be taking chemotherapy since 2017 but I decided I did not want to live that way. I hope the wind's not messing up the sound. I forgot to put on my other mic. If it is, I apologize. But I decided I did not want to live the chemotherapy life because, quite honestly, that sucks. Chemotherapy drains every bit of life out of you, and it's not a fun way to live. So only in 2017, after taking the chemo for only maybe four months, I decided to stop taking the chemo and I turned it over to God and I said God if you want to heal me I'm leaving it in your hands I'm not taking this chemotherapy anymore well for a while for two years I didn't tell my doctor that I wasn't taking it it's a mystery to me how he did not know that because I wasn't getting the refills but for one reason or another he didn't and then, in 2019, I finally had the nerve to tell him that I'm not taking the chemotherapy, Doc. Sorry. And uh, the strange thing is that when I went for that set of scans and CAT scans and follow-up that I told him, before I told him, he told me that there is no growth, no more spread. In fact the two small areas in my liver that they've been monitoring actually shrunk a little bit. Then I told him about the not taking the chemotherapy. He turned bright red and uh, after a little bit of joking he was able to recover from it. He was okay with it. He doesn't agree with it but he says hey it hasn't spread any you want to continue this treatment or this route then uh, that's your choice so I have went back again in August of 2019 same thing no spread no growth the two spots in my liver actually shrunk once again they started off at 1.2 centimeters and then this last, uh, in August of 2019, they had shrunk to one. He couldn't explain it. He says, I, I don't understand why the cancer is actually shrinking without the chemo. He said, I can understand how it's maybe not spreading because thyroid cancer is a slow-moving cancer, and it could take years and years and years to spread even a small amount but he couldn't explain 
how it is actually shrinking without the chemo. I said, I can explain it. All glory to God. This past January, we went, and again, for my follow-up scans, MRIs, um, and once again, the two spots in the liver shrunk. Now, one of them is 0.9, and the other one is 0.8. Again, he can't explain it. He's baffled. You just have to understand, God's not done with me. And God is the ultimate healer. For those of you who are inquiring about my health, I appreciate your concern. And I'm happy to report that everything is at bay. I'm never going to be cured of cancer. When you're at stage four, you're going to have it in your body. I have it in my body. We're just monitoring it to make sure that it doesn't grow or get to a point where more aggressive things need to happen. So, all glory to God. He's not done with me yet. Things are going as well as can be expected for someone with cancer. The only thing I'm struggling with now regarding my health is my neck. I had radiation therapy here. Very aggressive radiation for seven weeks. And because of that, I have a lot of scarring and scar tissue. I also have a paralyzed vocal cord from one of the three surgeries. And I have lymphedema. So listen to this. That's as hard as a rock and I can't feel it. I have limited range of motion in my head and in my neck. Sometimes this whole side of my face and my neck will just fall asleep. There are all kind of nerves in here. Some of those nerves have been damaged from the surgeries. The lymphedema, lymphedema is swelling and it's just, it's like a piece of shoe leather on the inside of my neck. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you have subscribed to my channel, I thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? If you're still with me, uh, again, just a genuine thank you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing to my channel, putting up with my stuff, listening to my rants sometimes, and uh, hopefully I've been able to help you guys out in some way. If you're dealing with cancer, or you know someone who is dealing with cancer, my prayers are with you. It's an awful, terrible, ugly thing. It's life-changing. You can still do things that you enjoy. Although, maybe a little bit more limited, but I'm not gonna let it define me. Thanks for coming along, guys. I appreciate it. Till next time, keep calm, carry on, and keep it outdoors.